DreamHack Open is brought to you by Intel, Corsair, Monster Energy, and DreamHack. Welcome to DreamHack Open December. We are looking very Christmassy today, and I'll be honest, I'm excited to get myself into some Counter-Strike relatively soon. Of course, I am not alone on this broadcast. We do have the very Merry Blair coming up soon. It would have been better to say Maui there, but it's funnier if I say Blair. So, uh, yeah, how are you doing today, gents? Feeling as Christmassy as... Oh, my goodness. Blair's not wearing a black T-shirt. So it's a what? miracle, but we're getting there. We might get some color tomorrow. What have yeah, you done maybe. with black? <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I have a couple of white shirts. T-shirts. <laughs> so I thought I'd try to be a little bit more brighter today. Tom has been kind of bullying me, saying I'm not being cheerful, which is kind of ironic. I mean, you're supposed to be. Oh, I just noticed the blinking lights, Tom. Screw you. There needs to be one Grinch <laughs> on a broadcast. One, you know, one Scrooge. So I have up been. That yeah, I've been doing that all this while. Everyone's just bullying me, saying, oh, you're not supposed to be mean. It's Christmas. No, I respect it. Or else we wouldn't have some of the greatest stories of all time. Like when Donald Duck played Scrooge that one time. Oh, that was a good. One. All time great. You know, yes. that, that, that was pretty awesome. Yeah, some fantastic stories that have come from villains like Blair. But uh, yeah, <laughs> either way, we have to say a big shout out to the true heroes. I, I may be wearing a ridiculous hat, but without these sponsors this would not be possible so thank you to intel msi corsair and monster energy for making this a very merry christmas and uh yeah i, I don't know I, I think we'll win him over we've still got another full broadcast plus another day for the grand final as well and maybe grand final blair will be a, a little bit more cheery do you, do you think like have you, have you got something like bright and red and sparkling with lights on it no oh Look into his eyes. Do you think he has any light-up clothing? <laughs> Can we put some like little glowy bits in your beard? <laughs> some tinsel. I've tried some, that. some braids. Some braids. <laughs> well, I tried braiding my hair once. Didn't work out. So, okay. Yeah. Well, I, I'm trying my best to make Blair happy, and that's something that you need to do for your teammates as well. So we have asked the players, what do they do to make sure they don't tilt? If things goes bad and uh, if you don't want to tilt, you make a pause, you talk with, with your teammates, you aim the problem and you solve it. Always uh, when you're tilt, uh, the best tip is just communicate. The thing is, you always have to remember that a CS game is never over until the other team hits 16 or if it's overtime and blah blah blah. Just uh, think about uh, next round, next step, what you should do to win this. When you are going to tilt, you just have to know like you tilt your teammates and it's the worst thing that you are affecting on atmospheres. Brief. A deep breath. So don't tilt! <laughs> you fine? You alright? Yeah, it seems to work, you know? A nice, mm. nice deep breath. Is that what you do whenever I'm like being annoying, Blair? You just like give yourself a moment or you break something? I, I feel like I'm you're you're someone who breaks something. I, I know, I can no, see it in I your never, eyes. I, I never break stuff. I, I'm just perpetually tilted. That's my secret. <laughs> That's my secret cap. I'm always tilted. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, dealing with you, Tom, yeah, I mean, you need someone of that mentality, mm. so yeah. I'm curious, Ma, have you ever broken anything, keyboards, mice? Uh, you don't look like the type of guy, I'll be honest. Uh, no, I've just broken the hearts of many women, so that's... 
God. Okay. Okay. I don't. I don't really know where to go from that. I'll be I honest. Can't do uh, this. I can't do this. <laughs> Uh, you, you finally you've caught me like, i felt like i have an answer for everything but that that's one that maybe maybe not so much i i'm glad that we can move this a little bit more towards some counter strike though because i know that we have something that i've been looking forward to talking about a bit i know that blair's been playing a fair bit of it so i'm hoping we can have a video that takes a look at the new operation and what the players have been thinking about it so far I did have time to test new updates. Uh, I've played some missions with materials, and we really, we really enjoyed it. I guess I did it by uh, operation yet, and I think I don't gonna do it. Uh, we already have at least two situations in Prax when I, I need some uh, smoke somewhere, and I just ping for my teammate so he can smoke. I think it's gonna be useful. People don't know uh, how to call the position; they will just ping it. So easier to give exact information about enemy so but i don't think it's gonna be useful in competitive stuff. i don't think it's like that useful compared to a game like league of legends you know so i don't know i think for many teams it's more just fun in games more than actually a serious thing to use and uh, I heard some rumors about uh, this map engaged will be come into the map pool instead of Mirage. Maybe, maybe, we will see. <laughs> no, 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 I don't want that map. No, no, please no. It's a, it's a weird choice as well. Like, why would he choose the map that he thinks he can beat VP on? Like, it just seems like such a peculiar <laughs> choice. Like, well, I, I have this down. I've got a good counter to my opposition. Let's remove that map and bring one in that has to move in cars that if you ping them, completely crash the game. Now, I know for a fact, that. Blair. Yeah, mm -hmm. they probably have. They're quite good at fixing things quite quick. But, you know, mm -hmm. you've been playing uh, some of the Operation missions. You've been enjoying yourself. You've been enjoying the new content. Uh, yeah, like I, I tried playing the the Guardian missions where it's like two of you against the bots coming on in. I played it with uh, with Dinko. The first time I played it, I was I got a little bit of PTSD, like five perfectly executed smokes. These are bots I'm talking about. <laughs> uh, four Molotovs. I burnt alive while being completely blinded for twenty seconds. That's better than some of the teams I have had to cast, which is incredible. Mm -hmm. AI, it's taking over. Have you played much of it, Maui? You've been enjoying the new skins. Yeah, I've played a little bit. Um, I saw Bardolph buy 100 stars, and he just kept buying skins over and over and over again. And he didn't get any purple ones, so I was like, okay, that's uh, that's good enough for me. That's my fix on gambling. Yeah, I kind of did that. But then we have Vince, who who did a similar thing. I know. And, and got the fade AW. We should have him in here, really, because he is yeah. clearly one of the luckiest people in the universe. And I think sold it for a ridiculous amount of money. So I, I then that. went, I can do the same thing. And um, I don't think I got anything above a gray. So that went well. And uh, on that note, I'm actually going to stop talking about the skins because it's made me frustrated. But the, it's all cool. It's great. We're going to move into some real Counter-Strike, though. The professional maps only in play. And we will have our first couple of teams in Forza versus Saw coming up after the break. <laughs> 